So how is TV film music or what is known as production music different than, let's say, pop, radio, iTunes, chart kind of music? Well, production music, when you're composing music for TV shows, movies, and commercials, you are not trying to get a consumer to buy or download your song online. You're basically trying to sell your track to a music supervisor or an editor whose job it is is to screen and find a song that will perfectly fit a scene or a transition or a commercial or anything that they, they need to use your music for. So in this business, you're really selling to other uh, professionals, other uh, in industry insiders in the music industry and the film business. So that's the, that's the primary difference between production music and what I just call pop radio music. Now, as far as how it's structured, um, production music and radio music are very similar in that you might want to use um, popular sounds and popular artists to mimic or to use as inspiration when you're creating your production music. However, in production music, you need to always keep in mind that at the end of the day, this music is going to be used by a person with uh, a video editing um, program on their computer screen. So really just editors are the ones who are really going to be taking your tracks from, let's say, an online library and importing them into their video editing sequence and actually placing your song. So that's the guy you really want to make sure you make his life easy and you serve his needs very well. That's how you're going to succeed in this business. So when you're, when you're having that in mind as far as who you're serving with this business, your tracks need to have a lot of options for him to use, right? If you're going to have multiple parts of your song, you don't want to actually repeat the same verse, you know, two or three times in the song or have the same chorus come over and over again. That's kind of what you hear more in pop world, pop radio world, because you have a vocalist on top making it different with their lyrics. But if it's just an in instrumental track, which is very common in the TV world, you need to add things into each verse or each chorus to make each one sound different or slightly, um, you know, alterate, uh, alternate between uh, A and B and A and B to make sure that you're making the track interesting and moving forward in a dynamic way so that if they want to place your track underneath a very long kind of like, um, I don't know, a scene where there's a lot of dialogue going on, but they don't want it to sound like it's a loop just going over and over again with the same eight bars. Well, then, you know, you want, want to make sure that like if you're creating a very long verse section that maybe every four bars or every eight bars, you're adding a new element, maybe some new percussion, or maybe you're going to drop something out uh, and then just have maybe a kick pumping and a, and a bass line for a little while. You need to just uh, apply a whole bunch of different sort of um, uh, alterations on the section that you're creating. So that way that editor has many options to choose from. If they want to loop a certain part, they can. But if they like the way that your track progresses, let's say it takes, you know, um, 30 seconds to get through a verse but every four bars or something new or interesting happening they might not need to edit it at all and they could just throw it right into their uh, scene and just leave it as is and the more time you get obviously on screen with your music the more money you're going to make so again giving them those options for if they want to extend a part they can just loop it on their own or if they like how it changes and just can, keeps growing and growing then they'll just leave it as is but either way you're going to be making their life a lot easier and on top of that, in the future, they'll remember your name and your composer name or whatever name you're going with in the library. And if they find that every time they use one of your tracks, like their life gets, you know, exponentially easier and their job gets infinitely easier, they're going to remember your name and they're going to type in your name in the future because they know that your music sounds good and you're giving them everything that they need. That they need. Uh, and when you got editors uh, who are whose job it is to place music in TV shows, personally, I mean, individually looking for your name, you know you got this business taken down. I mean, it's your industry now because they're going to be actively searching for you and getting all of your competition out of the way and putting your tracks into their TV shows. And that's a great um, strategy for success in this business. If you want to learn more about the TV film music licensing business, then click this video right here and you'll be sent a free crash course which will teach you everything you need to know to get started today.